Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're gonna set up some cylinders. Everybody, what's going on? Um, I am uh, obviously still in the process of utter disarray in my garage, but you know what? The, the work carries on. Uh, I need to get this thing put together, buttoned up so I can get on to other projects. Um, there is a little bit of a hiccup uh, with the situation. I had intended today to be able to um, get the entire top end fully assembled, but in order for me to check my squish on uh, between the piston and the cylinder head, which is something that's very strongly recommended and encouraged. Matter of fact, I had a good phone conversation with Chad from XLXB Horsepower. Um, great guy. If you ever need to get some work done, call him. And uh, he's very, very helpful and gave me a lot of pointers on um, how I could go about doing it the easiest way. He also pointed me to Hammer Performance's videos on YouTube. Um, I'll put a link up here for you so you can take a look at that in advance of me doing it. I guess next video or video, however many videos. Anyways, all right, so let me kind of get, kind of show you what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get both the pistons and uh, set up and the cylinders installed minus any torquing. There is a bit of a hiccup with this lower end. And right here, there is a very slight, very, very slight high spot on this on the on the base here the case and it may be that at some point in the history of the bike the the case the lower has you know split or not split but um shifted it hasn't caused any other issues um but in order to avoid any base ga base gasket leakage in the future because i don't want to do this again um i'm going to put a very light coat of um, gasket sealer on the joint right here so as to prevent the base gasket from potentially leaking again. All right, so here's the Kometic uh, base gasket. Um, as you can see, it's got all the um, correct corresponding ports and uh, holes for the studs, etc. But it only goes one way because there's one uh, locating pin in the uh, bottom end here. So you can only put it on one way, which means that the ridge uh, faces, sorry, faces down. So this ridge needs to go on the downside if you're doing this. Obviously, if any of y'all are doing this on your own, you'll figure it out. It's uh, pretty apparent. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a tiny, tiny amount of um, some gasket maker on that. This is some Mopar stuff. Uh, this stuff is pretty flipping amazing, and unfortunately, <laughs> it, the end of it here hardened up on me while it's... So, uh, again, I'm only taking a very, very small amount to do this, and uh, just going to give it a little bit of smear around the oil return port and on the bottom end where the two um, two halves of the, the bottom end, the case, uh, are joined. So again, you probably will not have this issue. It may be that I'm literally the only guy. This may be indicative of another problem, but I don't know about that. We're just gonna pretend that there is no problem. And I'm gonna proceed with the plan because that's what we do. We just keep going. And then I'm also gonna put a small splotch of it on the hole here just so it has a good chance of sealing. And it, like, I'm talking like just 
whatever is on my finger right now, it's literally just, I'm tapping it as you can see. There's, it's not a lot. And it's just uh, my, my intention with that again is just to give everything its best chance of sealing up and not giving me any trouble because I'm pretty sure my wife would not be keen on redoing this whole thing because I know I don't. And don't have any ambition to do that. Need just a smidge more. All right. Got some styrofoam on it. Okay, so let's let's get things started here. So the other thing I need to do is I need to lubricate these small end bushings um, to ensure that they don't get any kind of dry start. That would be obviously terrible for that to occur. Uh, we don't want that. So we're gonna put some assembly lube in the small end. And uh, hope for the best there. We'll get to that one in a second. All right, so I'm using uh, same thing I've used for some time. Uh, this is some Lucas assembly lube, semi-synthetic. Um, there's lots of other assembly lubes that are out there. Frankly, this is what was available at O'Reilly's when I went there. Um, so not sponsored by Lucas, although it would totally be cool if Lucas sponsored me, wouldn't it? Anyways, um, so I'm going to get this thing lubed up and then I got to get the piston in a position to be able to slide the rod or the wrist pin through the small end of the, uh, and uh, get, get everything um, lined up and prepared to push everything down. So give me a second here. We're going to go into time lapse. All right, guys, so the worst thing, well, not worst, but what I didn't want to have happen was have the piston come out of the sleeve, and it did, so I had a quick panic attack. I was able to get it back in. Nothing got messed up. The rings are still phased. I got it in with my fingers. It would have been a lot easier with a... Uh, piston install installation tool. Probably somebody has one, um, but I was able to squeeze it. It's a good thing I didn't clip. I was going to clip my nails today. You know, if you're a mechanic, you know, your fingernails are essentially another tool. So I got, I got it back in. Disaster averted. All right. So this goes this direction. And so now what I'm going to do is kind of get the piston situated on the rod here and get everything lined up as best I can and then try to push that wrist pin through toward myself here without goofing up literally everything. And there is one problem with the whole gasket uh, maker idea that I had for everything here and it's that it gets all over the place so maybe that's why no one does it it's such a mess there we go finally getting the, the wrist pin is moving and unfortunately I got to install it from the other side and that sucks All right, gonna take a quick break and explain what just happened. Um, <laughs> so those are typically not that hard, but I had a hard time with that one and it's probably cause I'm rusty, but I had to fiddle with it for a long time. So the wrist pin 
has um, a little bit more side to side play than what I'm used to. And hopefully, actually, let me show you what I mean. So <clears throat> these are a used set. So if you're seeing like wear marks, don't, don't flip out too much. But you can see there's quite a bit more room than what I'm used to seeing um, in a wrist pin. There, there's always some, um, but this, this is a complete set and I am not under the impression that anything is amiss. So if any of y'all have different to say about that, um, quickly comment down below because I don't know how I'd rectify the situation um, given that this is used as is no warranty kind of situation. And um, it's uh, it'd be a bad day for yours truly if those are the wrong wrist. I don't think they are. They fit. So it's just the side to side that was kind of like, oh, that's weird. Um, anyways, I got the the uh, retaining clip in and uh, now I need to yank all the wadding out of there, push this cylinder down and lock it down with the PVC pipe. So give me a second to do that. All right, so this is a trick that I got from Hammer Performance. You use a couple half inch couplers, PVC couplers, and uh, along with your head bolts to secure the cylinder to the bottom end so that you can get the other side installed. So let me get this. And again, this is just, you know, a temporary measure to get things secured, located, etc. And I need, need my socket for this. Give me a second. All right, we're back. We're just gonna use a ratchet and wrench to get this done. And just giving it a little bit of tension to hold everything kind of in place here. And it seems like there's something kind of, oh, <laughs> might be a good idea not to do that. Idiot. The hose here, the vent tube, was kind of wedging the cylinder up, so we don't want that situation. So let me kind of get this. A few moments later. All right, so no real tension on uh, on things here. Let me go ahead and get all this gobbledygook out of the way. What? And we'll do a quick rinse and repeat of the previous activities. Hopefully this time without popping this piston out of, out of its uh, cylinder. Uh, you know, I'm staring right at it and still put it on the wrong way. <laughs> Idiot. All right. So let's, let's get rocking and rolling. I went ahead and got everything um, set up over here off camera. And so really all we got to do is push the, the rod back up where I can get to it, a little bit more length on it. Boy, that moves really easy in that cylinder. That's great. No, there's no rotational friction. I mean, there is some, but it's very minimal rotational friction inside that cylinder. That's awesome. Okay. So, look, at least the uh, wrist pin retaining clip is on the same size, set side, sorry. And I'm going to, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Make up your mind. So the problem is I can't see really what I'm doing. I can't tell. I'm by Okay. Let's get this kind of squared up so I can push the wrist pin through. I probably got that rod a little bit too high. 
to make this as easy as it really should be for myself. <clears throat> Two thousand years later. There we go. It's all about the angle. Just had to get the angle on there right. All right. I am getting that gasket sealant literally everywhere. That's a shame. I'm gonna have to clean all that off, whatever. It's a little bit more elbow grease than I was planning on. Okie dokie. So now I need to put the uh, other uh, retaining clip in and uh, give me about 30 minutes on this. Well, that's how it's supposed to go on, like that. No big deal. All right. Okay, let's get this cylinder pushed down. And get everything lined up. And there we are, cylinder z on. Okay guys, so that took a little bit longer than I planned on it taking. Um, just cause, well, you know, I'm rusty. But um, got everything put together. Uh, there's like no real, I've got the uh, transmission and gear. Oh, I can't turn it. Uh, well, anyways, just take my word for it. There's very little friction, so. I got a little bit too much uh, assembly lube and oil <laughs> in that piston or in that cylinder there. Sorry. Anyways, um, that pretty much concludes today's video. I was, again, planning on installing the heads today and getting the entire bottom end and top end but you know, buttoned up and done. And um, that way I can move on to some of the wiring and some more painting that I plan to do on the uh, frame. So, that's obviously not the case today. That's okay. I mean, um, <clears throat> it is what it is, just how things go. All right, guys, I guess that will go ahead and conclude today's video. Um, if you have any comments um, about any of the steps I took, questions about why or what or how, go ahead and comment down below. Um, and uh, if you are interested in following along with this, please consider subscribing. You know me, I typically don't ask for subscribers, um, but I appreciate those of you who are. It kind of gives me, keeps me motivated to stay on task and keep this on schedule. And if you are interested, please consider becoming a Patreon and uh, helping this project and other projects along and um, even future projects that, uh, that, come, that could come about. I got a brain full of ideas just limited capacity to be able to do it and get that by capacity i mean budget so if you want to help out with that i very much appreciate it thank you guys um until next time peace out keep it between the ditches